Good morning, everyone. I am very happy to see you. I hope you're doing great. I'm Nichelle, and I am with the Frank Sarah's Public Library doing toddler time. So, let's do a rundown of what we will do today. We're going to do a couple of songs. We'll read a book. We'll go over our colors. The letter of the week, which is the letter I. The color of the week, which is the color black. And we'll do numbers. We'll do a couple of rhymes. And then I have a couple of fun things to show you. So I hope that you are ready because I know I am. And um, let's get started. Sue, we got to get Mr. Pig. He always does our hello song. Here we go. I hope you're ready. I know I am. Okay. So, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hi, everyone. Hey, Mr. Pig. We need to get our friend, Mr. Sun. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we could play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Well, it's time for Mr. Pig and Mr. Sun to go play. Bye. So, let's go over the letter of the week. Which is the letter I. What kind of sound does the letter I make? Eh, eh, eh. Yes, good job. And let's see what I have today that starts with the letter I. I always ask you, do you have something at home with the letter I? And take a picture of it and put it in our comments. I want to see. Invitation. Invitation. You probably get these when you go to a birthday party. It's an invitation. Ink. Ink. That's what you put have in your pens and it allows you to write. Ink. Igloo, igloo. These are made out of ice or snow, compacted. And they actually can keep you very warm. And intersection, that's a big, big word. You'll see these when you're driving with your adult and uh, they have to stop and look at the intersection before they can go. Now, if you have something with the letter I, I would like to see it. Let's go over the color of the week. And the color of the week is black. Let's see what we have in our basket. Well, we have a hair tie to hold my hair up. We have a black Sharpie. We have string. We have a black mitten. We have a black pencil sharpener. We have a black spider. If you have something black at home, snap a picture of it you know what to do. So, now let's go over our rhyme. Who remembers what we do next? That's right, it is Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. And along came a spider. The 
Dad sat right beside her. And Little Miss Muffet ran away. That was fun. All right, it is hickory dickory time, and I like that. Here is my clock. And here we go. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. And hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock, the frog ran up the clock. The clock struck two, the frog ran down, and hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock. The cat ran up the clock, the clock struck three, the cat ran down, and hickory dickory dock, hickory dickory dock. The pig ran up the clock, the clock struck four, the pig ran down, and hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock, the monkey ran up the clock, the clock struck five, the monkey ran down, and hickory dickory dock. Good job, friends. I hope you like that. Well, we are just moving quite fast, but we went over our numbers with the clock, but now it's time to go over them one by one. So. Letter one, uh, number one. <laughs> number two. Number three. Number four. And last but not least, number five. So we've gone over our numbers. We've gone over the letter of the week. And now it's time for story time. No extra puppets this week. They were taking a vacation. What can we play today? And this is by Jane Belk on here. She's actually a really, really cool writer. So, we always start with, do you know? Do you know a library is a magic castle with many window with many word windows in it. What is a word window? If you answered a book, you're right. A book is a word window because the words and the pictures tell about the words. Let you look and see many things. Books are your window to the wide, wide world around you. Let's do our poem. The library, a magic castle. Come to the magic castle when you are growing tall. Rows upon rows of word windows line every single wall. They reach up high, as high as the sky, and you want to open them all. For every time you open one, a new adventure has begun. Lisa opens a word window. Here is what she reads. What can we play today? We can play dress up. Look in the dress up box. What do you see? Can you guess who we will be? We will be firefighters. That's who. What do firefighters do? They put out fires. That's what they do. Get the ladder, get the hose, swish, out the fire goes. Can you see that? There you go. Forest fire, factory fire, boat fire. Firefighters fight all kinds of fires. Look in the box again. What do you see? Can you guess what we will be? Police officers, that's who. What do police officers do? They help keep us safe wherever we go. Police officers help us know when to shop and when to go. 
when to stop. <laughs> I wish you could tell me when to shop. But when to stop and when to go. And when someone's in trouble, police officers come on the double. Look in the box again. What do you see? Can you guess who we will be? A doctor and a nurse, that too. The what do doctors and nurses do? They take care of sick people. That's what they do. Family doctor, school nurse, surgeon, eye doctor. Doctor and nurses help people stay well and happy every day. Look at the box again. What will you see? Can you guess who we will be? Fix it people, that is who. What do fix it people do? They fix things, that's what they do. Repairman, mechanic, carpenter, plumber. They fix a roof, a car, or a broken door, or a broken pipe under a floor. the box again. What do you see? Can you guess who we will be? Mail carriers, that's who. What do mail carriers do? They carry letters, postcards, and packages too. Post office, mail truck, mailbox, and you. They carry mail from the post office right to you. Before we put these things away, tell us who you'll be today. We can play dress up too. Lisa, close the word window. Here are more people helpers you may wish to dress up as. Safety person patrol, a bus driver, newspaper seller, a pilot, a dentist, a grocery clerk, what you'll want to be and what you'll like to dress up as. I want to know. And if you have dress up clothes, snap some pictures and let me see. So before we go, I just wanted to show you some newer launch pads. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to take them out, but I'm going to show you the fronts and I'll read you some of the backs. This one is called Yum Yum Eat Words. It's for children three to five, pre-K to K. And it has all these games loaded up. So fun Spanish colors, kids spelling fun, kindergarten learning boost workbook, the very hungry caterpillars first words, mystery town, monastery words, monkey words, lip a bear, and ABC preschool. And this one's called silly little words. And it has Aunt Abby's Basic Skills, Big Word Club, Letter Quiz, Lip a Bear, My First ABCs, Zanzibar's Birthday, Where's My Baby Spot Animal, Quite Easily Lost, and Phonics Fever, and New Kids on the Block. So again, these launch pads are preloaded. All you have to do is press the power button and go. Speaking of going, it is now our time to go. So, I'm ready to start singing. I hope you are. And I hope that you'll join me next time as well. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to give a big hooray. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time.